So here's what our garden looks like this year. You remember the first two years? We had a beautiful garden. Yeah. Well, we figured out why. Stay tuned to find out. Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. So let's show you what the garden looks like close up. Right here is our potatoes. This is Kim's experiment. He's got five bands on there and there's two sets of potatoes. We're going to see if we can finally grow them. Up front here is our corn. Thank you Kay for this corn. It's a popcorn, a type of Indian popcorn. Maybe she can put below what kind it is, and we'll see how it does this year. But it's looking really, really good. This is our harvest for today. We harvested a few days ago. In the front, those light ones are called patty pan. They're a type of zucchini, and they taste really, really good. We have spinach in the basket and cucumber and green beans and then right behind the baskets are beet tops they're really good in salads they give you just a, a bit of bitter behind that we have our carrot garden and i'm trying that this year and a bunch of rows of beets i've been thinning them out this is our squash row most of these are patty pan and you cook them just like you do any zucchini and in the middle, there's a yellow squash. But look at those leaves. They are probably 8 to 10 inches across. They just look gorgeous. They're doing so wonderfully. We just planted that pepper, so it's kind of wilted. Here's our peppers. Um, they are not doing real well because we haven't had any sun. But I tried a different technique this year. For most of them, we'll see if we get a harvest that's better. We're using this trellis now because the winds are so bad and we're hoping it'll have us not have to do so much work. Behind that are tomatoes and these are probably five foot, four foot tall and they're very, very dense. I've got um, all different kinds in there. I think we have one tomato in there that's like five inches in diameter, but it's still green. But look, when you look down the middle, you can just see how wide they are. And I've got them all tied up, plus they're growing within the trellis. Just beautiful. I'm so pleased with this new trellis idea. It's working really well. And then here's my arch trellis. We found some climbing spinach. Isn't that neat? We were only able to find two plants, so there's not much of it there. But it looks really good, and the leaves are probably five inches across. And that's what you get to eat. Next to that is green beans. I thought they were the climbing, but they are not. Then we have some acorn squash and some Hubbard squash mixed in there. And they're doing really good. We actually have some um, Hubbard squash on there and itty bitty acorn squash. And then a tomato plant is kind of stuffed in there. At the end, I have two spaghetti squash plants. That spaghetti squash is about eight inches long already. Still very light green. I think I have five or six on the plant already. But as you can see, they are growing over the top. It's going to be really nice when this fills out. On the opposite side of the trellis, we have, again, some climbing spinach. This one's not doing quite as well as the other side. And, but it's still growing. It's now starting to finally divide. But it's going to be really nice. I think next year I'll get a bunch more of these. Next to that, you can see we have some Hubbard squash. You can see the little one in there on the left. My cantaloupe didn't come up. So I have some bare spots. But most of this is all Hubbard squash, and it's looking really good. We did get some powdery mildew because it's been so wet here, and we're treating that now. So hopefully we caught it in time, and it won't destroy our crop. But we have lots of Hubbard squash. And then the last plant there 
is of course a cucumber vine. I've gotten just that one cucumber off of it, but I've got a couple of four inch cucumbers. But they're reaching over the top. Isn't that beautiful? Just imagine with it all green inside, how wonderful it's gonna be. Here's our asparagus, it's doing okay. And here is our dragon fruit. It is kind of in shock because it's been so wet and no sun. But hopefully we'll see some off of it maybe next year. Here's our mulberry plant, our tree. And it had tons of mulberries on it, but the wind knocked them all off. Our plum is right there, and it's doing really well. I have three of those, and two of them have fruit on them. And Kim, as you can see, he's out there picking our harvest of apricots. And it wasn't a very big harvest. The birds and the chickens got a lot of them, but I got a couple of dozen that are ready to eat. So I'm going to be trying those. So you ask what the trick is? We are using our tank water. What a difference it made this year. We'll show you that in another video. Blessings. Thank you.